10 News military reporter Hannah Mullins has been working to get confirmation of the time that Kelly spent here in San Diego. And Hannah, you've just been able to confirm that information. I have guys the year he did at the brig was right here at MCAS Miramar. He was convicted on two charges of domestic assault against both his wife and her infant son. He had a face mask on, so I don't know. I couldn't like identify him or anything, and he had what looked like body armor. He was in tactical gear and a black mask with a white skull, while people like Lula White were in their Sunday best. It was bad. Authorities say it happened at the hands of Devin Kelly. They say he had two handguns in his car, but he was armed with a Ruger AR-556, which is a military-style rifle. Witnesses say as he approached the place of worship, he unleashed an act of evil. He was just shooting the church from the outside. Uh, he then opens the church and goes in. I kept hearing gunshots. The barrage of bullets gave way to a blood there's a dead body right there. Before becoming an enemy on home soil, he promised to protect this country. He served in the Air Force from 2010 to 2014, working in the Logistics and Readiness Department at Holloman Air Force Base. But he was court-martialed in 2012 for assaulting his wife and her son. Kelly spent a year in the Naval Consolidated Brig and his rank was reduced to E1. He received a bad conduct discharge and should not have been able to get guns. It's heartbreaking. <laughs> That church is my family. Yesterday morning, he allegedly sent a threatening text to his mother-in-law, but it was his grandma-in-law, Lula White, who was among those massacred during mass. It hurts so much. The Air Force sent me this email saying they may have mishandled information about his conviction, which could have kept him from buying that murder weapon, so they are launching an investigation. Hannah Mullins, 10 News.